Hey everybody, it's Robbie the Undead Chronicler. How's everyone doing today? So, as you play a tell, I'm excited to start a let's play of The Man of Madonna. This is a game I've been waiting for quite a long time. Uh, created by Supermassive Games. Same people behind, who were behind uh, Until Dawn. I've been looking forward to this game ever since I found out apparently they're doing an anthology series. So basically a, a series of, of games based around myths and legends. It's done in a similar fashion to Until Dawn. Using many of the same mechanics and gameplay elements. Okay, apparently we're somewhere in China. Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Yeah, you do that, buddy. Oh no! Wait, that's me Let's over here. It. What's in store for me, Pop? Joe. Nine twelve p.m. Post War Two. Um. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he? Uh. Is he gonna grow up all right? I mean, things. That kind of seems like the, the understandable choice. I mean, if this guy has a son, he'd probably be wondering about him. Uh, bamboo tile or dragon tile? Um, bamboo. Tell me what you see. Alright. It, it looks like a fish? Yeah, fish style. Your财富可能来自任何方向，但是当这样的风吹来，死亡和厄运肯定会随之而来。Death. Uh huh. So according to fortune, I am fucked. What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Wait, traits I did. Uh, selfish, insecure, altruistic, reckless, uh, guarded, and eager. Okay. Bud, let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. Yeah, you do that. I'll give it a whirl. All right. Gotta get some practice in for those uh, quick time events. Yeah, not gonna hit me, buddy. Oh. What do you think I'm doing? Shit. Okay. Got one punch in. Have a nice day. I don't know why, but for some reason hey, Joe, I thought that one was gonna be the square button. Ship. We don't wanna get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Yeah, besides that fortune teller gives ship fortunes. What are they putting in cargo hold too?
Wooden crate with skull and crossbones and two padlocks. Hmm. Doesn't quite say this is a good thing, now does it? Three crates. All of which look like death. Really? You're looking for your 50 cents right now? This is not exactly the best time, I don't think. And he just turned blonde. Oh shit. No, he's not. Makes sense. I mean, we are, it is kind of like some drunk and disorderly conduct. And we're shoving off. Okay, um, I've seen enough horror movies to know this is never a good sign. You know, mysterious cargo or mysterious anything that's struck by lightning? Never good. Especially when it starts leaking a questionable fog. This is a sign we are all gonna die. Okay, oh, I concussion? That's Fucking fantastic. Huh? What? Cute kid? Okay, so I heard gunfire and it sounded like planes going around. Was I hearing that while I was sedated or? Was that like, mem uh, like, mem like some memories of PTSD? Oh, right here. Some kid. Uh, two pops come back soon. Oh, must be my, must, must be my guy's kid. Ah, padlock. Wait a minute. That padlock's on the inside. So if I was sedated, who locked the door? Because uh, to what I'm seeing, I'm like the only person here. I don't see any other patients. Oh, that explains that. Okay. He locked the door. All right. Further proof that he locked the door. Uh, wait just a minute before I have to, I have to fix something before we continue on. Okay, let's go uh, check this out. Okay, the ship is like eerily quiet. What's in here? Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on out there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. I heard that too. And there was a. Uh... A 
corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Wait, wait, wait. If I learn anything from Until Dawn, it's a good idea to uh, check out the rooms that get unlocked. Okay, what's this? In the Private Charles Anderson, on leave from duty, to display intoxication in a manner not becoming a member of the U.S. military, or uh, the U.S. Army, I mean. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. Alright. Well, shit. Somebody got their head beat against the wall pretty bad. I wonder if Charlie knows about this. Oh wait, something I actually didn't look into. Gotta remember. Just like an Until Dawn, if you're looking at something, flip it over. Brig, 10 days approved. Well, shit, okay. <laughs> Don't think I need to know that. Apparently, apparently, what we did was pretty bad. Um, Brig, week 27. Monday, Arthur Miller. Petty theft, one day in the Brig. Small items belonging to a senior officer were found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner. David David. Uh, trespass, two days Brig, found off limits in cargo 3A with no reason to be there. Flagrant discard for orders. Lewis Brand, public intoxication. One day, Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed, public intoxication. One day, Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Charles Anderson, public intoxication. Brawling. Ten days, Brig found Joseph Roberts. Same. Wait a minute. These guys all got, like, one day max. We both got ten days each. And honestly, I wouldn't even consider what they were doing was brawling. Like, it was a slight argument with a little shoving. That was about it. I mean, I guess they're, they're thinking it could have escalated into a fight, but it could have just as likely have... Just been like, uh, you know, one guy shoves one guy, one guy shoves back, and then it's just like, ah, whatever, fuck it. And then just continue on their day. Charlie, you coming? Oh shit. Okay. Okay, somebody sounds um, a little on the irritated side. So this is this game's version of the Stay Still and Until Dawn. Makes sense since they were since they're releasing this game to all platforms instead of just the PlayStation. Even though this seems a little too easy compared to Stay Still. a child. What a child is doing on a, on a military freighter, I have no idea. You know what the bad part was? The second that kid popped up, I was about to, I was just about to like, I was like I was about to, I was just about to hiccup. But it scared the crap out of me, I don't have to hiccup anymore. <laughs> Come on, come on. 
Oh shit. Yeah, buddy, you uh, you stay down there. So he barricaded the door and was shot in the back. Now, question is, who shot him? God damn! Another stiff? Who's the lucky one? Oh, damn it, Buckley! Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. And he's dead, but it doesn't look like he was hurt in any way. He wasn't shot or stabbed or anything. He's got kind of like that, uh, kind of like that look like, um, like the ring of the grudge, like he was scared to death. Petrified, one might say. I want to walk faster. Okay. I'll do. So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on that. Yeah. Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? Okay, so Joe's seeing stuff that uh, Charlie isn't. That's already worrisome in its own right. Charlie, get over here! Get again. Hello. Come here. Oh, God, no. Charlie. Hello, zombie child. Eat lead, motherfucker. And apparently I died of a heart attack. Many questions. That's all I gotta say. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can yeah, you better be calling for help. I think we need it. Fuck? 
and that looked like that white. And that's how everyone on a military warship died. In a span of one night. So far, this is definitely looking interesting. I can't wait to uh, actually get into the game and try to figure out what happened there. Like, why are people uh, seeing things? Because that's what it seems like. Some of the people who were seeing things weren't there. And why did my guy die of a heart attack? The visual of this game looked pretty good, but then again, I feel like Until Dawn already looked looked pretty good. And this is staying par for the course. Conversation with death formed by chemists. Is that is that what this uh, theme is? Gonna look into that. See if I can find a copy of that on uh, iTunes. Hello. Hello. And welcome to my repository. I oh, believe I'm feeling quite welcomed right now. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, of greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Almost certainly not. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your Yeah, this is I make will affect others, but sadly I couldn't clear. find someone and to I play this uh, to online, the so... Occasional hint. It's only Here's the in-game characters that's going to affect. <laughs> there are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Yeah, uh, we can talk later. We can take stock of everything. Take stock of the bodies. <laughs> uh, 
account for all the blood on my hands. And now it looks like the real story begins. Brad, Alex's brother, witty, innocent, went at the Duke of Milan in French Polynesia. Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, motivated and insecure. All right. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look, I've never been down there before. Down. The water, diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious? You came out here without taking any lessons. Uh, kind of. Yeah. I wanted to. I just didn't. I didn't have time. You know, I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Whoa! Careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Little bro. Be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. I don't think it matters if they're super loaded or not. I mean, if I had a lot of money, I wouldn't want people just going out and throwing shit around thinking we could just frivolously be, be uh, spend money like it was going out of style. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? Okay, mm -hmm. he's kind right, of a jerk, but okay. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... A little snappy. <laughs> when you medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Mm-hmm. That'll be nice. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Okay, so my relationship with uh, Alex went up. Or, well, Brad's relationship with Alex went up. That's good. Hey! So, uh... Can I get your input on something? Yeah, sure, man. Whatever you want. It's uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. Is it a really big thing, or...? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. I think I know what he's asking for, and my honest advice to that would be... You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Hey! Julia, current sister, Alex's girlfriend, okay. Conrad, Julia's brother. I think I heard somewhere the guy who plays Conrad is uh, the guy who played Iceman in the X-Men movies. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Wanna crack a colon with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with mid. Um. Relaxed, yeah, cool. Actually, if he gets seasick, then he probably shouldn't be drinking. Ah, uh, TBH? I kind of have a thing with uh, seasickness. Brad. Bradley. Ray Brattleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. And I think that is only one of the dumbest things I've ever heard in my life. So, no. Nah, man. You, you really, really don't want to see me, you know, blowing chunks? <laughs> Suit yourself. You ever do any diving before? 
Um, be honest. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. We're gonna be gentle. Uh... Okay, new information came to light. Uh, Conrad <laughs> is a weirdo. <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? Fliss, Captain of the Duke of Milan. Okay, then. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... <laughs> he looks like he's a little taken aback by who the captain is. Board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Oh my god. Yeah, there you go, Conrad. Sit your ass down. <laughs> I like Fliss. He looks very pleased himself. What, what's going on? See those hot pits. Well, I guess I shouldn't really please himself. I mean, he's more very enthusiastic. What about, uh, over here. That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Well, um, I'm going to be optimistic. I mean, we should have some confidence in what Brad's Brad's found out. Homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm going to go help Conrad and Julia. Yeah, I get your point. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Whoa, hey, look at that. What is it? Looks like a bomber. Can you zoom in? Oh, yeah, definitely a B-29. That's good, right? Uh, our kitten's good. Our miniature horse is good. Brad. Hey, I freaking nailed it, bro. Don't I get a little end zone dance? Watch me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's a so, dork. So okay. the B-29 is a super fortress. During World War II, Not that's a bad thing. To cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. They and were just like so dope. Ah, uh, so dope! Oh my god. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, nerd burst. <laughs> oh, please keep going. Uh, hey, he's enthusiastic. A that's a good yeah. thing, man. Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. The guy obviously uh, has a passion for what he's he's trying to find. What he's studying. To port authorities. As an I like this guy. Well, yeah, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait. Are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? I am going to do some reading up on B-29s. Good idea. That could be very helpful. I mean, if we're going to be poking we'll be around some get you guys in the water in a few crash bomber, the the it's probably the best we have checks. all the information we can possibly get our hands camera. on. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. Hmm. I don't think might be a way in. What do we have here? A uh, qualified diving instructor. Wait. Wait. Qualified driving instructor. Uh, Felicite Dubois? OK. 
Okay, she's 120 pounds, five foot eight. Okay, so she's three inches shorter than I am. Okay. Brown eyes, brown hair. The instructor identified on the rear is authorized to conduct classes in the designated specialty as sanctioned by Dive Master Federation. Wait, Federation? Wait a minute. This doesn't look kosher. Yeah, I agree. Something about this doesn't look right. This looks fishy. Like. Wait, Dive Master Federation, but it's a driving instructor. What? Okay, that, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> if that's fake, I'm gonna start questioning how smart the, the, the captain here is. Yo, little bro. Howdy. How's it hanging, sport? Man, still can't believe we actually found the plane. I honestly wasn't sure we would. Totally. I mean, what were we going on? A wing and a prayer? <laughs> I, I think we were going on more than the plane Man, was. I really can't <laughs> see uh. Well, if there is anything cool down there, I'll nab it for you. Just don't let Captain Killjoy find out. I get Bliss has her rule. But man, it'd be cool as hell just to get my hands on some little relic from my first wreck. Don't forget the camera. Picks or it didn't happen. Yeah, don't worry. We'll we'll take all the picks we can possibly get our hands on. Whatever we bring up, we'll go through it all together and you'll tell me what I got. Okay? Dope. So when do you say dope? Since I realized it was like tight. Fresh. Welp. See you later. Sure. Thanks for <laughs> checking in. Uh, let's go check back here. And what's this over here? I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Ah, perfume. What's it say? It's only smelled as good as it cost. Dust. Made her happy. Oh, the perfume. Oh, oh the perfume. Hmm. Shroud of Innocence. What's this? Uh, wait, it says on the top. A must read for anyone with interest in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. Uh huh. So the Salem Witch Trials. Okay, that's actually interesting. If that's an actual book, I might see if I can find a copy of that. <laughs> Can I hear? Ah, premonition. All right. So the photos act in a similar fashion to the totems from uh, Until Dawn. This is good. This is very good. Okay. So this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Cool. Okay. O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver. You gotta check your O2 first. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for sending me straight. Oh, hey, guys. What? Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. And then we come back, and Conrad has been stabbed. Don't give up, do you? Are those two going in or what? I don't think he is going to go up. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. <laughs> you ever have to use one? Right, kids. On a shark? Good nope. to go. Just remember the rules, please. Let's start to Julia. Uh, bitter, romantic. Uh, be romantic, come on. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post-dive special. <laughs> Are you going to bring your bang stick? 
That front cabin is gonna pop its portholes. Exactly, good omen. This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. And I that is what was, was, was most commonly referred to as famous last words. Watch me as I walk away. Leave. 